everyone, this is Angela, Free from the Grave. I'm from the channel called Morbid Heart Designs. I do art and I do horror movie reviews, so welcome to this art video where I talk about the possession of Hannah Gray. Quick disclaimer about this art piece, this is just a general John or Jane Doe zombie, not anything particularly from this movie. It's a piece I started a while ago and I'm finally finishing because it correlates, in my opinion, to the morgue situation that we have going on in this movie. Quick synopsis of this movie is that there is the unfortunate death of Hannah Graves killed in a exorcism gone wrong. Her body shows up mutilated and ends up in the morgue where our main character, Megan, who has some challenges of her own to conquer, ends up figuring out what happened to the mutilated corpse of Hannah Graves. Things start to go weird, strange noises, things start to go weird and before you know it, the possessed corpse is conquering the entire morgue. I do feel that this movie was well cast and well acted. We do have the possession makeup as well as the gore effects on the body of Hannah Grace were very well done, very creepy. The sound effects they used with her body, like she popped when she moved, really added a nice creepy tone because you could hear her popping. You didn't see her. The characters could hear it and they'd be like, what's going on? I'm alone. Where's that noise coming from? And it was a really good, great idea to add to the creepiness of this movie. I don't have the story plot itself was very simplistic. My only real complaint is that the demon possessing Hannah Gray seems to be extremely powerful, even when she's mutilated, um, not really able to do much when she's, quote, dead. She has a psychokinesis ability that she uses to kill various people and it doesn't make sense to me as somebody who likes these types of movies, possession, supernatural, typically demons can only control and affect the body they are directly possessing and not influence bodies the way her character does. There's not much divulged about this demon. It seems extremely extremely overpowered to the point that it doesn't make sense and does actually bring down my rating. The mythos of this demon is extremely vague and not really confirmed in this movie. I don't want a sequel. I don't want a prequel. I don't think this movie was good enough for either of those, but it doesn't make sense for this to be a possession type show with what happens. Anna, it feels like Hannah Grace should have been more of a witch character with the powers and how things came to be than possessed by the demon. I do have other thoughts, but again, I don't want to give spoilers because I do think you would greatly enjoy this movie if you like possession type movies. There is a, a good level of gore and violence, but it's not over the top for those of you who are sensitive to it. So I do highly recommend this, even though I'm only going to give it three Zombievers out of five Zombievers. It's a fun, enjoyable watch. You don't have to be drunk to enjoy it, in my opinion. So there you have my thoughts on the possession of Hannah Gray. Thank you so much for following Three from the Grave. If you like what I'm doing here, this is what I do on my channel quite regularly. So please head over to Morbid Heart Designs and follow, notify, all that stuff. And also give my fellow Three From The Grave members a follow if you don't already. That is Strange Monkey and Movie Massacre from Movie Massacre Show. With all that being said, my thoughts being done from my dark heart to yours. Have a wonderful day and please don't die before my next video.